Hi, brothers and sisters out there. I have another story for you guys. Hope you really like it. This is from my KJV Bible. This is a story about Deborah. Deborah was a warrior, a prophetess, and a judge anointed by God. Um, you're really going to enjoy this story. She's not the only one. There was another lady in this story named Jazel and a gentleman named Barat. Okay, also, um, I wanted to point out in Proverbs 31, the woman of valor in Proverbs 31 is warrior. She is a warrior. So let's just get down right to it. There was a gentleman named Barak, and he came to Deborah, and he wanted help because the Israelites and the Jews were being killed and slaughtered by the Sicils. And no one would stand up and help. And they were being killed by the thousands. And no one would fight back. There was nothing they could do. So he went to Deborah and he needed help. He asked Deborah, since she was a judge, a warrior, and a prophetess anointed by God. He came to her and he said, I need your help in this battle to destroy the Sicils. And the leader of the Sicils, and I'm going to have his head. And she said, This very day you will go to war and you will win. Thus says the Lord God Almighty. Barak said, I will not go unless you go. So he basically said, I will go if you go, and I will stay if you stay. So Deborah said, I will go. So they went into this carnage of war and they defeated the Sicils. They they won. They they beat them to there was nothing hardly left. Barak wanted the leader of Sicil, but Deborah said there would that his head would be delivered into the hand of another woman. So there was another woman warrior besides Deborah. And this woman wasn't an average warrior. She was the tribe, I believe, um, she was in the tribe of Moses' cousin, if I'm correct. But they went to war, and war was definitely carnage. And so Barak wanted to um, get this leader of Sassel. Even though they won the war and they beat them all down, he wanted the right to get leader. this because of what he did. So Cicel's leader ran. The dude ran. And he ran and he ran and he ran from Barak. And of course he was tired from all the running. And of course he was tired because when he got finished running, he ran right into the camp of what they was supposed to have a pack with Moses' cousin and he felt safe there but right there before her own tent her husband was not in this tent this was her own tent and before the leader this leader could get this leader of Cicel could get to her husband she stopped him right in front of her tent and she wooed him into her tent and she said I will keep watch over you I will not let, not let nothing happen to you and she gave him a cup of warm milk and assured him that she would keep watch. And in those days, a cup of warm milk meant an aphrodisiac. So he might have thought she had other intentions, which she did have other intentions for sure. She covered him over and laid him down. And he got up, a, I think, another time and she gave him some more warm milk and covered him over. And he was so tired from running from Barack that he was exhausted and tired. So he fell fast asleep. While he lay asleep, guess what she did? Now, you might not want the children to hear this, so you might want to put them in another room because it's kind of uh, uh, graphic in nature. Not to say the picture is real bad, but, you know, it's a little bit graphic. She took the spike of a tent and she put it to one temple of his head and pounded it to the other side of his temple. 
He fell flat at her feet, dead as a doorknob or dead as a spike through the temple to the other side. But anyway, that wasn't all she did. When he popped down in front of her dead, she cut off his head. Yes, that's right, guys. She cut his head off because she loved the Jewish people. She loved Deborah, and she was a, a warrior in her own right. So, yes, off with his head, said the Red Queen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, when um, Barak showed up at her tent wanting to know where this dude was, um, he was wanting to take uh, revenge on him and probably do the deed himself. Well, Jake, Deborah showed up probably about the same time, and she told Barak, she said, I told you that this this man would be given over into the hands of another woman. And he was because she put a spike through his head and she cut his head off. So when Deborah opened the tent up to show Barack what had happened, he was at awe in the carnage that he's seen. He could not believe his eyes at what at what Jazel did. Jazel had put the spike through his temple and then beheaded him and the carnage that he saw was just he was so amazed at the women of war that it was just it it put him in complete awe he said these two women are very mighty in the in the warrior kingdom i don't know if jazel ever said this it's not in the bible but i imagine she might have said something to the in the lines like this to herself sometimes you need to remind yourself you're a warrior and warriors don't give up and she loved the israelites and she loved deborah and she loved the jews and she brought this this leader into her tent and jazel took care of business and he was delivered into her hand and so all you women out there who are in the military i just want to say kudos for you you are protecting us, just like our men of war. It says in Psalms 31, a woman's valor, a woman's valor is a military woman is her valor. So I am so proud to say that because I know a few women who have been in the military and still are in the military. And so, yes, I believe there is a place for each and every woman we are fighters. So if it's okay if my daughter joins the military, a lot of moms ask this, or a lot of women ask this, did, should I join the military? Is this biblical? Well, if you read the KJV, I guess the answer is an obviously, yes, it is. There is a great read out there called Deborah the Prophetess, Judge and Warrior. God made her a prophet. God made her a judge and God made her a warrior by MJ Lolly. Lolly or Lolly. And this is a great read. So if you get a time to read this book, it's good. And the the book in Judges, I believe it's in Judges, is a story of Deborah. It's not a very long book, but there are many women in the Bible, and I plan on talking about some of them. So um if you this. like and you enjoy this story and you would like to hear more, I would love to hear your feedback and I, please subscribe. You know how YouTube is. They don't want to monetize anybody ever. And I'm, I don't get monetized anyway. I don't plan on it. I believe the, the, the word of the Lord is free. So if you could please subscribe, I would appreciate it. And you guys are beautiful people. And there will be a day when we will have to choose between the New World Order or Jesus Christ. And I want to live in a mansion, in a kingdom. I want to live in a new world and not their New World Order, but Christ's New World. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So you guys have a blessed day. And you are my brothers and sisters in Christ. And those who are not 
Maybe you could think about it and read a couple of books in the Bible. It's not so bad. Thank you for listening. And please, if you share this with your friends and watch the whole thing, it's not that long. Have a blessed day. Thank you. And God bless you and many blessings this holiday.